I'm always looking at where the story goes next. I hope that our guests come on and share something. For Americans, they're feeling it pretty hard. I know. That you will leave better informed, I can tell you that. Hey there, everyone. We hope you're enjoying your Valentine's Day. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News for some of it. I'm Errol Barnett. And I'm Lana Zack. Here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. The House makes a historic move impeaching Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Negotiators continue to push for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. This as Israel plans for a potential attack on the city of Rafah. And a car plows into the lobby of an emergency room in Texas, forcing some patients to be rushed to a different hospital. And later for you all this hour, a court unseals new documents in a Gabby Petito case. What her fiancé told his father after the young woman's death. And the IRS is working to go digital this tax season and reduce the amount of paper it uses and stores. How that could make your filing easier. All right, the Senate will begin the process of taking up the impeachment trial of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas later this month. Now, this comes after the Republican-led House cast a historic vote impeaching Mayorkas last night. The House narrowly voted 214 to 213 in favor of the effort. Three Republicans voted against the measure. Last night, the House voted to approve articles of impeachment against Secretary Mayorkas. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We had to do that. He has abdicated his responsibility, he's breached the public trust, and he's disregarded the laws Congress has passed. The office of Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer released this statement shortly after last night's vote. Um, you see it on your screen, and it says the upper chamber will start Mayorkas' impeachment trial after senators return to Washington February 26th. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill for us. So, Nicole, walk us through what happens now. Well, you pretty much laid it out there. I mean, 